Hi there, Mr. Thompson here with a video math lesson talking about order of operations. All right, you've probably heard about order of operations. Um, there's a few different ways that um, it's sort of done, um, and you might have heard of bod mass. Um, also, in America, you may have heard of uh, PEMDAS um, or other countries, who knows, it might be something different. But um, between bod mass and PEMDAS, you've, you can have it covered. Okay, um, so um, these letters tell you the order in which you need to do maths problems. Okay, bod mass always, always applies. Order of operations is always very important. Okay, so each of these letters stands for something. Okay, um, <clears throat> in Australia, I can't, I don't know about other countries besides um, the states, but in Australia, B is for brackets, and in America, that would be P for parentheses. Okay, O is orders. Sometimes people say of. Okay, I don't know why either of those words are used in America. It's E for exponents, which I think is probably the most um, appropriate letter, but that's okay. Um, you could also think of those as powers. Okay, um, but um, O stands for orders, and it really does mean exponents or powers and that kind of thing. Okay, D is division, M is multiplication. A is addition, and of course S is subtraction, and so it goes in this order for the most part. Okay, we sort of have the first step is any brackets, second step is any orders, any exponents. Okay, then we have the third step is any division or multiplication. Okay, those can go in actually in either order, which is why I've numbered them both number three, and then any addition or subtraction they can go in either order. That's why I've labeled them both number four. So you can sort of think of division and multiplication. Um, uh, whichever one <clears throat> comes first, basically. Okay, and then same thing with addition and subtraction. Okay, so um, basically that's that's all there is to it. Um, so the best thing to do here is to look through some examples. Okay, so we've got our uh, bod mass up at the top right. Example one, we have five plus six times two. Okay, so we don't have any brackets, we don't have any exponents, orders, and that kind of thing. No division, but we do have multiplication. Okay, we also have addition, but multiplication comes first. Okay, so we're going to do this six times two first. So six times two. Um, okay, sorry. Here's the other problems we're going to do. Okay, multiplication comes first. Six times two is um, twelve. Okay, so we write a new line, put an equal sign, and we put our twelve. We've used up the six and the two; they both became the twelve. But we'll copy everything else besides what have been used up, down to our new line for the problem, and now the problem is 5 plus 12. Okay, and of course 5 plus 12 is 17. Okay, so that's that problem done. Okay, example 2. We have 5 times 2 plus 9 divided by 3. Okay, here we have, um, we have division, uh, sorry, we have multiplication and division. We also have addition. So what comes first? Well, division or multiplication. It's whichever, and we're going to go left to right, start at the beginning, and we go left to right, whichever of those two comes first, and it's multiplication. So we're going to do 5 times 2, okay? And that's 10, all right? Now I'm going to copy the rest of the problem down, so plus 9 divided by 3. Now we have addition and division, so division comes first, so 9 divided by 3 is 3, and we'll add our 10 plus. So now we just have 10 plus 3, which is 13. Okay. All right. Number three, you finally get some brackets. Okay. Um, we have two sets of brackets. We have this little inside bracket and then this big one. Okay. Now, when you have multiple sets of brackets, some inside of others, the inside ones go first. Okay. Because basically you look inside each bracket and you say, well, what do I do first inside the bracket? Well, brackets go first. So um, we start here. However, in this case, this bracket really all it does is specify that this is a negative number okay um, so there's really nothing to do with these brackets we could almost erase them we, we could erase them but some people we just do that to really notice that this is a minus and that's a negative okay to distinguish there okay so that bracket doesn't do a whole lot what so should we do the subtraction first or the division well division comes first right so we're gonna do negative 20 divided by 5 Okay, it's going to be 20 divided by 5 is 4, and there's one negative, so it's going to be uh, negative 4. Okay, 
Now we copy the rest of the problem. Okay, we got our two times, then our bracket three minus negative four. Okay, and if you want, you can put brackets around your negative four just like it it was before, just like the twenty was before, to specify again just that this is a negative number. Now inside the brackets, we just have three minus negative four. Okay, three minus and minus a negative is is the same as just adding a positive. Okay, so three minus negative four is three plus four, which um, is seven. Okay, and then we just have two times, and two times seven is fourteen. So that's um, order of operations. You can there's other videos out there on the web that have sort of more complex um, examples. Feel free to check those out. This we didn't obviously didn't do any examples with powers or exponents. Okay, so um, if that's something that you are needed to find, then go look for it, and I'm sure you can find something, um, or if you want to request that in the comments, maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll make a video for that. So good luck, and see you next time.